question four. So to work out the mean, first of all, you add all the numbers up. So when you go and add these six numbers up on your calculator, you get 9312. And then secondly, you divide this total by the number of numbers. Well, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six numbers here. So you divide the total by six, giving you 1552. Now, Kirsty's gone and said that she thinks the mean number of students to the museum each month in this time is close to 1,500. Well, the difference is actually 52, isn't it? The difference between 1552 and 1500. Now, whether you think this is close or not is completely up to you. It's sort of in that middle sort of grey area, really. So either way, you can either say Kirsty is correct, uh, is correct, yes, and say that it is close to that, or equally you can say no. So yes or no will do, but you must make the point that the mean is 1552 and the difference is 52. Now to do my check here, what I've gone and done, I've just sort of done the re reverse process really. If Kirsty thought the, um, the mean was 1500, then the total would have to be six lots of this, which is 9000 compared to our total of 9312. Now for part B, we're being asked to um, uh, what percentage of the total number of students visited the museum in 2016 visited in July? Well, the number who visited in July was 3,097 out, out, out of a total for the year of 19160. So you simply divide the July total by the total for the year. That really gives you a decimal number. So you have to multiply this by 100 to turn it into a percentage. So doing that on our calculator, we get 16.16 dot dot dot. But we're required to give our answer to one decimal place. So that's one number after the decimal point. That one rounds up to a two because that six is a five or above. So our final answer is 16.2%.